Hey you guys, this is Marcus. I'm back with another video. Um, I believe I have the fastest Wi-Fi on YouTube. Um, I tried searching for some videos on YouTube and couldn't find any really high speed Wi-Fi. And I'm talking about uh, your actual download and upload speeds and uh, your real world throughput. Um, what you actually get on your computer uh, so I'm um, get right down to it uh, I'm gonna first show you guys my setup uh, let you see what I'm working with and uh, we'll go from there okay so we flip cameras now um, we're on the back camera um, we're filming with a Galaxy Note 5 I can't afford a big fancy camera um, but anyways we we have a uh, Netgear regular uh, switch this breaks off the connection from my fiber jack. Uh, you can take a look at some of my other videos if you want to see the full setup of what the fiber jack and what the fiber box looks like, uh, what Google supplies you with for the network. As you can see here, there are no Google fiber boxes. Um, I have uh, omitted all of their equipment. I believe their equipment is a tad bit slow. Um, it doesn't give you your full throughput on your megabytes per second down um, but and, and it kind of uh, makes your devices time out after a long time so I don't want to get off into that but um, anyways this is just for basically I want to split off the connection for the fiber jack just in case if I have to have a fiber technician come in they can easily plug into this switch and it'll give them a connection directly to the fiber jack um, this is a Netgear ProSafe uh, GS108T. This is a, uh, a pretty nice uh, little switch here. This is a slight above these, uh, these types of switches. This switch allows you to do VLAN tagging, which you really need uh, for Google Fiber in order to accept the uh, connection. So this has a few goodies on it that you would need. Um, I will leave a link in the description uh, below uh, on how to set up your network and use it with these two devices. Um, if you are using it with these two devices, uh, you will definitely have to have another router. Um, you'll run into an issue with, uh, they give you five static IP addresses, meaning um, you only have five addresses. so have to break those off into another router that can um, do your DHCP clients for you. Um, moving on to the wireless router that we're using, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is a Netgear R6300. Um, it's a uh, Wave 1 AC router. It's uh, It's been a good one. I've Actually, what's funny is I had bought one of these before and then I sold it and then I bought this one again. Um, I bought the first one uh, when I was with uh, Shitty Clearwire here in Kansas City. We read about them. Um, but anyways, this here, I had this before when I first got Google Fiber. And Google Fiber at first only had N300 routers, which were terrible. And so uh, I joined their tester group and, and got one of their AC routers. And then uh, their AC router wasn't too good, so I ended up buying another one of these off of eBay for 79 bucks. Best investment you can ever do for your Wi-Fi. Um, <clears throat> so now that I've went over the equipment, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the speed test. Let you guys see a live speed test here. I'm not even gonna pause the video or anything like that. Okay, there it is here make sure I'm gonna do this out of Kansas City of course because that's where I'm located so let me don't want to reveal my IP okay so we've begun the test oh looks like we had it on kilobytes so give me a second here go off frame a little bit megabytes so, we got that, you see that download speed there? You guys, if you can beat that type of download speed, I want to see it. I've not seen it. Put it on YouTube. Share it. 
I don't think nobody's out here getting that kind of speeds, man. All right, I just wanted to get, show you guys. Uh, I'm, I believe I'm the champ. Who has Wi-Fi wi better than that? Come on. So if you can beat that, upload your video, post it. Because I don't think you're messing with it, man. Anybody got it. That's it. I'm out.